Hey people, what's up? Adam Tokyo AZ here, and now this time I have a special guest. Latte22 is here with me this time, so say hi. Hi. Anyways, today we are going to Mount Pry. So I decided to bring a guest along because he's never seen Mount Pry or played Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald. Am I nope. right? I thought I so. It. It's my. Like, Hoenn's my favorite region, but for some reason I've never played the games for that region. I played every other region but that one because, you know, oh. I'm retarded. Same with this tentacle that we just ran into. Anyways, today's mission is to reach the top of Mount Pry and see what lurks above. Because we saw Team Magma Grunts. Well, you guys didn't, but I did. So, we've done here. Mount Pry, the remains of dead Pokemon. I think that's Mount Pyre, Adam. Oh, well, oops, Mount Pyre then. <laughs> this is the final This is the final resting place of my Zigzagoon. I cherish it. Why would you cherish a Zigzagoon? You can find those everywhere in this game. God, so Adam, so heartless. I know. So anyways, instead of going through there, we want to head through out like, here. I know. I know. <laughs> I'm so such a horrible person. <laughs> hey, look. In, oh, yeah. Over here, you can, I think this is like the only place you can find... Oh, wait. This is like the second to only place you can find Meditite. Meditite's a psychic and fighting type, so it's a pretty good Pokemon. It has pure power, which increases its attack, and it has to attack off the bat. And detect is really annoying. Yeah, Because they just like to spam it. It's like, oh, I'm going to spam detect. Oh, I'm going to spam another detect. It's like, dude, what the fuck? So mad type faints. We get some experience. It's all good. Also, all here, good. You can, also here you can also find Vulpix. A lot of people don't know that you can get Vulpix in this game. And we get TM48, which I have no clue what TM that is. So I'm going to go check that out real quick. What is it? What is it? Let's see, 248. Oh, skill swap. That's pretty cool. What's skill swap? I don't know. Basically, that. you switch abilities with your opponent. So if your Pokemon, it's really good if you have like a a uh, slacking, because their abilities tront, which means they can only attack once per turn. So if you skill swap, which means you switch switch abilities, and that means that Pokemon, oh. that means the other Pokemon that switches abilities gets tront. You could be like, uh. So basically, what's, what's you that Pokemon's name? Uh. The Shit. spirit to him be like Shit skill ninja? swap with nin nin in Shad ninja. Like really? <laughs> yeah, you can, yeah, you can totally do that. So Shad ninja has like I all don't know if spirit to him can learn that though. If it could, that would be no. Better. It's not spirit to him. It's Shad ninja. Shad ninja is the only one that can have wonder to. No, not I know. wonder to him. Oh my god. I know that Shad ninja is the one who can have wonder guard. Yeah. But I mean, spirit to him learning skill swap. I'm pretty sure that probably is impossible. Yeah, that could probably work. Really? I think, yeah, I think it can, I think that or either Sableye, it's either one of those. So if you guys want to be extremely cheap with that, it could be wrong, yeah. so don't worry Like, it wouldn't that. be that bad, I guess, unless you were going against the Shed Engine. Well, so. yeah. Oh, if you knew I the see. other person oh. as Shed Engine, you'd be like, oh, it's skill swap. <laughs> you bad. Sorry, Vulpix, I don't want to kill you. Sorry, Vulpix. Didn't wow, you're so heartless, Adam. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, okay. I was, I was seeing Why well, you gotta kill Pokemon? I have no clue. God. Alright. Let's hurry over here. Right. I, ha I hate it when you're walking in the grass and, like, you're like, please don't run into an enemy. Or, please don't run into a Pokemon. Please don't run into a Pokemon. And you're like, okay, it's going to be good because you're, like, not running into anybody. And then, like, you get to the very, like, last That's row and it's like, <laughs> Pokemon. Oh, my. It's so annoying. Alright. We have a Team Amagron up ahead. See, I took Team Amagron here, but we're going to ignore him and go all the way down here. Yay! <laughs> Because here, you can actually find an extremely rare Pokemon that only has a 2% chance of finding. Ooh, it's just actually Shuppet. Shuppet, you can, it's very common in Pokemon Sapphire and Emerald, but extremely rare in Pokemon Ruby. I'm shocked I actually found it on my first try, so hopefully we won't kill with a Thunderbolt. I hope Thunderbolt. we don't kill it with a Thunderbolt. Of course we kill it with a Thunderbolt! <laughs> Should've used a weaker move. I don't have a weaker move, I got rid of Spark for Thunderbolt. You know, I'm switching Pokemon. Machoke, you need some sh uh, shining out here. We might find I'm that spirit Pokemon. Never gonna run into one again. Eh, maybe. It's like a tw it's like a 12% chance of you finding one in the wild. Oh, there's a common dust skull. But the Pokemon that, that has a 2% chance of finding in this area only, on top of Mount Pry, is Chimeco. Ironically, wanna know something interesting? Chimeco is the last Pokemon they added into Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. Yes, it is true. By looking at the hex numbers, Chimeco is the last Pokemon they added into Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. Well. So that's a little fun fact. All right, let's run away from that guy. All right, let's fight our Team Magma Grunts. Fight me. I'll show you exactly how scary Team Magma can be. Ooh, joy. I'm so scared. Eek. Team. 
Vagma. Have you noticed they all look like volcanoes? Oh god, it's a Zubat. Well, they're, they're Team Magma, they're not supposed to look like icicles. Yeah, I bet Magic will love them. <laughs> oh god, she's so confused, right? And plus, because I'm confused, that means I get the Guts Butt. Guts Boost. I said Guts Butts. What the heck? Ugh, Zubat. Failure. It's like... <laughs> it's like, I have no eyes. Or nose. And I have a gigantic mouth. And it just got crossed out. Yep, it got killed by a rock. God, Adam, why well, you gotta throw rocks at people? Oh, she'll fine, I'll freeze them. I'll freeze them. Go snow runs! Don't worry, I'll freeze to do that. I'll freeze to do that with ice beam. Why ice you gotta person. freeze that? What did they ever do to you? Oh, supersonic wing attack. It'd be extremely annoying. Oh my god, another Zubat. It's, this is worse than fighting the Mag Magikarp trainer, which is just like that one person has a team full of Magikarp. That's what I always kind of hated about fighting, like, the teams, because they always have the same Pokemon over and over and over. Yeah, like, I mean, <sighs> Team Magma and Team Aqua are really predictable. And they just team Magma has mostly Zubat, Puchiana, and Numble. Yeah, and it's and now that's we can go like this Team Plasma in Pokemon Black and White, just have Pat Rats and whatever that other one was. Perlion Perlions. Now, yeah. one of these graves have, has an item. I forgot which one. Oh, here it is. It's a Zinc. This oh one. my god, you found a Zinc. Which is actually pretty helpful, because that raises special defense. Alright, so we're gonna kick this guy in the behind, and then we're gonna go see this guy. What's up? And what's up with like, you? I've got what is... too. I know, right? It's like, what's up with you? What does a single kid expect to do? God. What does a single kid expect to do? I don't know. We're I have... Magma. We spam the same Pokemon. Look at the Puchiana. Oh god, this is gonna be too easy. Oh, it looks so fat. I know, right? Pikachu looks fat in Generation 1. Have you not seen how fat Pikachu looks before it changed? Yeah, I know. Pikachu's like super fat. It's like obese Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> right, change Pokemon. Hey, look, obese Pikachu. <laughs> yeah, let's go Espeon. Espeon. Yep, because I'm actually using a non-home Pokemon, and a Pokemon you only get through National Dex. Psychic. So basically, generally, Team Emma has the exact same Pokemon. Also known as I like to call them Evil Organization. Because seriously, they are like terrorists against everyone. Dang, too strong. Too strong. I could, I have I could to totally, get ma better I could totally make a Pokemon phone. reference for that, but all right, let's see what item each user has. If it's a Red Candy, I'm just going to release you. Have okay, good. Stronger. All right, we have to find this final dude. He's like, hey, yeah. I remember you from Mount Chimney. It's payback time. Oh, really? I don't remember you at all because you look exactly the same. He's like, oh, I'm Bob. Who? Well, wait, see, everybody in Team Magma. There's Bob, Bobby, Bobby, Bob, Bob, Bob. And then Bobby, we have Maxi. We have Team Maxi. And then there's Team David. Magma. David. <laughs> it's like that one off one. I think we're fighting like Dave right now. Focus energy? Eh, not gonna worry. I'm just gonna kick you in the hunchback? I don't know, is it a hunchback or oh, what? You just kicked it in the neck. Okay, that works. Could have killed it. it. One. Suffered it... chronic injuries. Hey, guess what? I'm gonna send out a type disadvantage. I'm gonna send out Snow Run. Snow Run? Yeah, ice type versus fire and ground. Because I have water pulse. Wow, cheater. Nuh uh. God. Totally not a cheater. Hey, Snorch's gonna get a level. Yay! Level 36! Ah, uh, you're so close to evolving Snow Run, so we can almost taste it. Ugh, beat my kid again. What get level does run. Snow Run evolve? Oh, it evolves at level 30. No, not level 43. Yeah, oh. we got a long ways to go, don't we? God. I know, right? It's forever. Oh, look what's going on here. Cutscene. Oh my god, old people. Not you. On our plan repeatedly, but this time we're too late. The blue orb that rests atop Mount Cry. Fire. Fire. I maxi claim it as mine. <laughs> Finally, I can realize my grand design. Who laughs like that? <laughs> I don't know. Come on, crew, it's Slateport next. Oh no, this can't happen. How could they take the blue orb? The blue orb and the red orb must never be separated. They belong together. Fine, you take the remaining red orb. Where's my teeth? <laughs> I just had to make that reference. I'm sorry. Where's my teeth? <laughs> the red orb you've been entrusted 
with in the stone blue orb, they must never be apart. Something terrible will happen. And yes, that is true. Now, if we talk to this old man, we'll see a little history. Mount, Pri Mount Pyre is where we calm the spirits of Pokemon that have passed on. Yeah, because that's what I an old man sounds like. Mount Pyre, I'm a teenager. There's a high place where one can see all power. <laughs> this is embodied spirits of Pokemon. We <laughs> find solace here. It's con. I don't know how to say that, so I'm sorry. I'm just going to Coincidence. Coinc co coincidence that you are here. Will you hear our tale? A long tale? Sure. Happened long, long ago. The world was gripped by a ferocious po ferocious plan. To crap. Uh, the world was wrecked by a ferocious clash between Pokemon in the land and the Pokemon of the sea. The Pokemon of the land raised mountains and created continents. The Pokemon of the sea raised huge waves and carved out oceans. Their, fu their fierce duel raged without end. The world engulfed in vicious storms and massive infernos, like magic. The red orb and the blue orb brought an end to the calamity. Light poured from the orbs and became in, in, enraged advertised. The pair made Doc Isle. Yeah. The pair made Doc Isle burrow deep underground where they eventually disappeared. And if you don't know what they're talking about, they're talking about Groudon and Kyogre. So now let's Obviously. this place. Because they said they were heading to Slateport, so now we got to run all the way back because I forgot to bring my flyer like an idiot. Wow. Hey. Well, hey, my flyer is a freaking tropical. And then you have to run into a Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, it's the Chook's time to shine, literally. You see all of the shiny spots coming from it? It's his time to shine to run away. Okay. Yay, we made it through. Watch, I'm going to run into a Pokemon in here. It's going to be like Inst Pokemon. Because I can't run. I'm pressing the button. I can't run. Wow. Yeah. I would see because in Generation Four they changed that, so it's like, oh, now you can run there. <laughs> Plus you surf like super fast in this game, so that's actually helpful. Surfing on a zigzagoon. Yeah. Apparently they can learn surf somehow. Yeah, zigzagoon. You surf. It's like surfing you on just a love disc. Sit on it, and it's like, okay. Yeah. Somehow. No, why not even funnier? Surfing on the surfing on. I like how you move like super fast surfing in this game. And okay. freaking Pokemon Diamond, it was like slow as hell. It's like. So glad they made it faster in black and white, cause that was annoying. Oh yeah. my god, it's the line in. Yep, it's the evolution, which we're never going to evolve uh, H M music because we're never going to ever, ever, ever use it. I it's love Linoon. I know Linoon looks really cool in this generation. I think it looks really cool in general. Eh, that's true. It is an interesting Pokemon. It just looks like a ferret. Like, and ferret! We already have ferret, damn it! The ferret doesn't even look like a ferret. I know it looks like a ferret. Hey, look, we found another one. Actually, I don't remember what ferret looks like. Ferret looks like a ferret, trust me. It really is. It's a cuter version. You can't escape! Oh, uh, you can't escape. You just got headbutted. Oh, hell no. We're going to run away again. And missed. And it's going to chew. I hate sand it's attack. It's sand in your face. No, now we can run away, ha! Huh? We just ran away, like, boss. All right. Big Pokemon. Pokemon. Oh. Woohoo, we made it! Wait, why didn't I just use my bike? Wow. Move it, lady! <laughs> Damn it. So it's gotta be that one lady. person, you're like, Oh, I'm sorry, we wasn't in your way. It's like, you can run into people with a bike and they don't get hurt. They're like, <laughs> they're just like standing there and they're waiting, they're like, watch this, watch this, watch this. Oh, oh I'm sorry, were you trying to get oh, through here? Oh, it has here? a full heal, okay. Six of you haven't found a full heal. Anyways, let's head to Slateport because they said that there was something interesting going on there and so we got story. Yay! Fly. Slateport, which is down here. So apparently something interesting is going to happen. Of course, Team Magnus Machine. Something interesting. Whoa, look at these kind of people. This is this old lady. Yeah, I was hoping for a famous challenge I can get on to have who's having an interview with like Captain Stern. <laughs> yes, 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 indeed. We intend to move ahead with our exploration. That's wonderful, Captain Stern. Thank you for taking the time from our busy schedule to talk about this. We hope you can interview you again and use the next step. Uh, okay. And then you're off. Yeah. Phew! That was my first time being filmed for TV. That was nerve wracking. Oh, Adam, you're looking great. We made a huge discovery in our last sea floor exploration. Found you're looking great. You look the same as you always do. I know, right? We found an underwater cavern in Route 128. The thing to have of a Pokemon that said we long extinct. Foo, 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 Captain Stern, I presume. We, Team Magma, will assume control of your submarine. Your objections are meaningless. We expect total co cooperation. 
foo foo foo. Just watch his team magma is playing. Get in that lab. Foo foo foo. Hey, look, do you see that question marks? That's a first. What was that all about? Sounds like someone's using a megaphone. Where'd it come from? Exclamation mark! It's the harbor! The submarines are trying to take it. Adam, please come with me. Now this is the most retarded scene ever! Wanna why? Watch. Fwahaha. I com commensurate? Commensurate, I guess. Yeah, with commensurate with you, all that effort you spent following me here. Away from Mount Pride, but now no one can stop us. No one! Will you follow us back to a hideout in Lily Cove City? Wow, we're way to reveal your hideout. Fwaha. <laughs> Here comes the most retarded part. Watch. They jump in the water! What the hell? Wow. Because <laughs> They're Team Magma and they jump in water. That does not make sense. Why? Why would Team Magma jump in water? I mean, steal the submarine and one. <laughs> Why would Team Magma jump in water? <laughs> Why can't Why can't the actual submarine Pokemon Clark C? They even by the I know there's no chance against them. <laughs> oh dear. Seriously, Team Magma, <laughs> just jump in lava instead, or jump in magma, it makes a lot more sense. Why would, why would Team Magma jump in lava in water? <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, in the next part, anyways, in the next part, we're gonna go to Lily Cove and take down that hideout and find the awesome item that looks for him. This has been Adam TQAZ and Latex22 here, and we'll see you guys next time! Hey, Adam! Hmm? You know you wanna hug those cute grunts. Oh my god, this is gonna start. Halo anyways, see you guys. 4. Halo 4.